What do you think of when you imagine a super tall skyscraper? Maybe the CN Tower in Toronto? Or the Eiffel Tower in France? Hi, I'm Jen from Tell Us World of Science and we are here for Maker Monday. We are going to be here every Monday doing a brand new engineering challenge with you where we get to design, build, and test all sorts of cool things using stuff you can find all around your house. So sit back, grab some materials, and away we go. So today we are going to use the design, test, build strategy to build the tallest skyscraper ever. All right, so we need to collect some materials in order to do our skyscraper challenge this week. So the first thing you're going to look for in your house is you need some recycled paper. So that could be newspaper like I have here. Perhaps you have some construction, uh, construction paper scraps, maybe some old paper bags. Uh, we have lots of printed on scrap paper at our house. Any of these types of recycled paper will be great for this activity. Okay, we are also going to need some tape. I personally love using masking tape, especially for engineering activities like these, but you can use whatever tape you have around the house. You're also going to need a measuring tape for this activity so that we can measure how tall our skyscrapers are at the end. If you don't have a measuring tape, you can also use a ruler, you just might have to stack it on top of each other a couple times. And then you're also going to need a pair of scissors that's comfortable for you to use. Okay, so if you have little hands, you might want to use little scissors. If you have bigger hands, you can use adult scissors. And then if you want, you can also use markers or anything to decorate your tower at the very end as well. Okay, next, make sure you can find a nice, clear, smooth work area for you to build your skyscraper onto. So that could be a nice table, that could be a, a smooth floor. Just make sure that you ask a grown up if it's okay if you use that work area before you start using it. Every skyscraper created started out as a challenge that needed to be solved. The first piece of the solution is the design. So, I'm going to start thinking of some different designs and I'm going to try drawing them out on some scrap pieces of paper and I'm going to keep my problem in mind. So I want to remember that I want to build the tallest skyscraper ever and what different ways can I think of in my design in order to make that happen. Okay, so remembering some of the skyscrapers I've seen. I seem to remember a lot of them kind of have a triangular shape. Okay, so I've drawn a few different designs here. And I've looked over all of them and I think I've chosen the one that I want to build first. We can use the design, build, test strategy over and over again to make the best possible paper skyscraper. Great. We have our first tower, but we're not quite done yet. Let's measure it with the measuring tape and then go back to the design and see if there's anything we can improve to let us build it taller. Even if we've built an awesome tower, there's always going to be ways to improve it. All right, so now that we have the most recent version of our tower, let's go ahead and use the, the measuring tape again. So, we're going to start it on the table. Remember, kind of the first tower went to about 17 inches. Then we added another segment. So 
so it made it up to about 33 inches. And now with the final segment, it's, oh my gosh, we made it! It's four feet tall. Woohoo! Good job, guys! That is awesome! And you know what? That's all the time we have right now, but I bet you, with more time, we could actually make it even taller. Thank you for joining us today for Maker Monday at TELUS World of Science Edmonton. I hope you guys had a lot of fun building amazing skyscrapers out of recycled paper. And when you guys build your own, I hope that you can post pictures of your successes and even your failures down below or you can tweet them to us at hashtag Maker Monday. I'd love to see all of your awesome creations. And when you post your pictures, if you could also include how tall they are, the measurements for your, uh, for your creation, that would be great. Until next Maker Monday, have a great weekend. Bye.